Hi guys, welcome you back to this TV channel. So in today's video, you'll be checking out on how to smooth your character body and how to use smoothing in CC4 for your character clothes so that all the clothes will be smooth and everything will look smooth to your character's body so that they won't look jaggy or something like that. As you already know that in CC3, if you apply clothes or if you use morph slider in CC3, the character body will become jaggy, so it will not look fine. But CC4, I'll solve the issue now. So that whenever you face the issue, you'll be able to smooth the character body without using top party software. So I think this is one of the good news for CC4 and the best tools in CC4. So in order not to waste our time, let us do this my character here. If you check at this character's hand, you see that everything looks jaggy, it does not smooth the harm. If you see the hand very well, the hand does not suit smooth at all. For you to know what I'm talking about, now I've rendered these two photos here as an example. This is the smooth one, and this one that is not smooth, as you can see. If I zoom in, see the, char see the character hand here. You see that this place looks jaggy, but why this one looks smooth? So, everything looks smooth in this, as you can see. So, as you can see here, so that's what we are about to cover. So how can you now make your character body to be more smooth than before? So at first, make sure that you select your character. Once you select your character again, then go to modify tab. And then let me explain this to you. If you are using CC3 or iClone, make sure that you don't play with, uh, make sure that you don't ignore this modify tab because there are many things you can do in other modify tab. So make sure that you uh, you choose modify tab as your what as your best tool when you are working with iClone or CC. So once you select your character, go to modify tab. Under modify tab, click on edit mesh. Once you hit on edit mesh, then you get this option. Just click on face. We are dealing with character's body, so click on face. Once you click on face, then click on this small button which says data mesh. So once you click on data much, what data much will do is that data much will be able to smooth your character's body or words or whatever uh, object you select in the scene. So once you hit on data much, then you got these options. This, the selection means which parts of the character you selected and the whole means it will smooth everything automatically. So let's assume I want to smooth this character's body, everything at once. So I have to select her. Once you select her, you see that we have divorce neutral character here and we have file. So this divorce neutral character is suitable for non-standard character in CC. But this one is suitable for uh, like objects like clothing, accessories, and something like that. So I will teach you how to do both in in CC4. Now, once you hit on her, then select this object. So but before you apply this. Make sure that you preview it for you to know if the result is going to be good or not. So you can just hit on preview button. Kindly watch this. Once you hit, hit on preview button, you will see that the character's harm is now smooth. As you can see, it has changed. So if you are if you are okay with the result, then just click on apply. So once you click on apply, so if you see that uh, you are not satisfied, so you can still hit on apply again for you to be more satisfied as you can see. So, the more you click on apply, the more the character's body becomes smooth. So, just make sure you don't, you don't overdo it. So, do it normally. So, once you finish that, you now see that the character's body is now worse. It's now more smooth than before. So, that is how to smooth your character body in CC4 using data mesh under this, this mesh button. So, that is the advantage of data mesh. Now let's assume uh, I want to smooth this character's pants here. Let's assume we want to deal with clothes. So the method for clothing is very different. Let's assume we, don't, we want to deal with clothes as for select your clothes. But before, let's assume we want to use this same method as we use for our character. Now you can hit on go to modify tab, edit mesh, hit on our face. Then if I try to use data mesh, so if you are if you are trying to use her here without doing some certain things, 
So you got error. As I get like you got the error. So if I hit your preview, so as you can see, data mesh error. So the only thing you can do for close here is that as first, you have to select, you have to make sure that once you select the object in your scene, get back. So convert this this part here towards to accessories. So you have to make sure that you convert this part to accessories. Once you want to try to do it here is that you want to make sure that this part here get back to its origin so that we can get smooth results. So once you click on convert to accessories, then make sure that you select option one, which is reset to device ship, not option two, option one. Then click on convert. So the pants will get back to what to its origin, as you can see here. Now, after that, just do us. We have to export these pants, export it. And when you are about to export it, make sure that you copy this name. The name must be the same. So copy, double click on the pants, then click Ctrl C to copy the to copy it. Once you copy it, then go to your file, export. And select obj then selected item under obj menu i make sure you use the same setting leave it as default so export so i've already exported this pants before so i'm going to select it or you can just kindly use ctrl v to paste the objects as you can see it's already here so just click on save please so once you click on save then we try to redo to redo this okay now i have do as i have reset the pants to the default settings so as you can see it's still in close mode so make sure that once you export the file so you make sure that you convert this uh, just redo it so once you redo it so it will be converted back to clothes so once it is in close mode then go to your modify tab Click on edit mesh. Click on edit mesh and click on face. Once you click on face, then make sure that your sub selection is on, so that you'll be able to. If you want to select certain parts, so you'll be able to select it. Then click on data mesh. So we want to make sure that all these parts it looks smooth. So I will be using small hole here. Then choose the uh choose the object. So the object that you exported the you exported earlier is what that you use the OBJ file. So this is the joggy pants. So click on it. Open then. Before you apply, you can just kindly do us kindly preview the object for you to see the results. As you can see, the pants looks more better. So if I hit on apply. So as you can see, it looks more smoothly. So if you know, if you see that uh, you are not okay with the results, you can just kindly do a select the area that you want it to be more smooth. Let us I want to select this area here. Then if I hit on select area here, I select this area. Then use data mesh again. So at this time, I'm not. I will be using selection because I just want this area to be what to be more smooth. So I will use this selection mode. Then select the OBJ file, which I exported earlier. And this is the OBJ file. Then click on open. Hit on preview button to see the results. As you can see, it's looks more better. Hit on apply. If I okay, if you are not okay, so you can just kindly do what? Kindly reset this object again. So I want this area to be more accurate. Click on face. So select the area. So once you select the area, then it's a data mesh. Make sure that you select your object. So this is my object here. Then hit on preview. So once you hit on preview and you are okay with the results, can just kindly do us click on apply. So once you click on apply, everything will look more smoothly than before. So that's how to do us how to smooth your character body and how to 
smooth your uh, clothes in CC4 with this new data mesh tools in CC4. So if you like the tutorials, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and also share with others. See you in the next one. Bye for now.